So, I thought it'd be fun to try to 3D print a version of the rotating ramp shifter that's used in uh, so many toys. And uh, in this case, I started with this 3D printed frame. This is a regular TT, uh, what, 48 to 1, any one of the faster gearboxes. It's held on with two screws right there. And there's the shaft coming up there. And on that shaft, I'm going to place this nine tooth gear, which is about 10 millimeters in diameter, like so. And that gear is going to drive two gears on the next shaft, this being the next shaft. By the way, these are hex shafts because they can print flat on the bed like this without any supports. The gear is sitting on there. It's probably confusing you. Let me grab just a raw shaft, a hex shaft because you can print it on the bed flat without any supports and because the print layers are going back and forth like this they won't snap they're very strong if you print a tower topwise and your printer goes around and around and builds it up it's real easy to snap them and break them so go with a hex shaft because you don't need supports you can print it laying down flat for strength and when you do that then you can key things on there like this gear here has 19 teeth has a matching hex hole in the middle so I could slide it on the shaft and in this case I've already glued this gear on the shaft and as you can see it uh, it has a large flat area with a rounded slight ramp up area and I'm going to put another gear on there that has 20 teeth so and it has a center collar. I want this gear to be able to spin freely on that hex shaft. So I had to make a, a little collar that has a hex opening that would fit in the middle of this so when it's on the shaft the gear itself can turn free. As you can see this gear has the the full ramp like so. And so this is going to drop on here like like that. Then because I need this hex shaft to be able to turn freely when it's uh, sitting in here just take another one of these bushings with the hex hang it like that and butt it up the other way now this bushing can spin freely when I plug it into the uh, frame like that so now both gears will be driven by the one motor but this gear has 19 teeth and this gear has 20 teeth so they're going to be turning at different speeds and uh, what's going to happen is when that ramp comes around if I can hold this where I can see it and the camera can see it when the ramp comes around this is going to be moved out by the ramp by four, four millimeters. The gap between those two gears right now is four and when it's fully on top it'll be another four so it's going to move it like that that movement could be used to shift gear linkage or switches to get it to go back you put on a spring and uh, Harbor Freight sells little spring kits that just have like 200 different different types of springs in them for very very few dollars put another little uh, hex buffer bracket thing on there and then put the end cap Oops. I'm going to put the end cap on there, just like that. So now, basically, you can see how this can move. So when it crawls up, this will move out. If you had a gear out here, when it moves out, that could engage another whole gear system to perform one task. Or you could put another small gear in here. So when it's all the way in, that gear is driving. When it's all the way out, a different gear is driving. You can do a lot of different things with it. My uh, point at right now wasn't to take it to that next step. It was just to get to this step to see if I could make, could 3D print two small gears that had the same diameter but different number of teeth to perform this function. Oh, now it's all the way out. So now you've got how far apart they are and how wide they are. And it's probably getting probably about ready to drop back 
and there it's dropped back in again. So you can see by moving that shaft and having a power takeoff on there, you can shift gears, linkage, perform different tasks, do all kinds of things. By changing the length of the ramps, you can decide whether something is going to, um, how long it's going to be in each state. So right now I have it about 50-50. About the same amount of time is spent in this close together mode. Here it's just crawling out as it is spent in this outside mode. So in the next part of this test I'll probably uh, try hooking up another gear drive off this so I can actually s switch some gearing off and on just to see how that goes. Maybe make a walking leg or something with it. But uh, this would be part one of whatever we want to call this <laughs> rotating ramp gear shifter. I really don't know the correct name for, uh, for this type of device.